Welcome to my unboxing of the Philco Magistouch 2. This is a mechanical keyboard and you can see here, Philco has so many different configurations of their keyboards. They let you have pretty much whatever you could possibly want in terms of the layout. So you can have, you can have different layouts, different sizes, different switches under them. You can have different color schemes of the keyboards. We've unboxed the camo one before, which is pretty cool. Uh, this particular one has a black body cover with a 104 key arrangement, so it doesn't have the missing number pad. It has Cherry MX Red switches, which are basically like a softer version of the black switch. So that is to say that it's very linear in terms of the travel. There isn't like a, a a resistance and then a click and then a release. Uh, it's very linear and it requires less force to depress than a black switch, which isn't to say that it has like a neurological disorder that causes it to be sad. That is to just say that um, it is being pressed down depressed, not like, you know, like it needs, you know, help from somebody to become undepressed. Although, Actually, no, because it doesn't need help to get... I'm the one making it depressed, and then if I would just stop putting so much pressure on it, then it would be undepressed. I don't know where I was going with any of this. Okay, so let's have a look at the keyboard itself. Philco is a world-renowned brand. They're a Japanese brand. Pretty much, if you're into keyboards, and more people are into keyboards than you would think, you have heard of Philco. You are familiar with Philco, and you probably want a Philco keyboard in some shape or form. So they are known for their build quality. Very, very solid keyboards. It's not quite a Model M, but then again, nothing is. Uh, what can I say, right? However, as far as modern keyboards go, you aren't going to do any better than this. There's absolutely no flex to the deck itself. There is that weight to it. Like it's not, you know, once again, it's not a Model M. Like you probably couldn't kill a man with it, but you could stun him, you know? Like if someone broke into your, like your gaming den and you were all like, oh, I have, you know, no like axes nearby. You could pick up your keyboard and be like, whoa, pow. And then hopefully you wouldn't wreck the USB port because this keyboard does plug into your computer by USB or PS2 with the adapter. It features N key rollover, which means you can press as many keys as you want without running into any difficulty with, you know, random ghosting. And, you know, if you learn to type with your face, then you could type with your face and that would be really weird looking, but like probably effective. Uh, in terms of the layout, I love it because I'm one of those guys who wants to see long shifts, enters, and backspace keys because I have small hands and I can't reach a backspace key over here without moving my index finger off of the J, which means that I'll get lost when I go back and then it'll be a total disaster and I won't know what to do. Um, no tall delete key, thumbs up again. No function key on this one. That's kind of interesting. So two Windows keys. This is, I guess, not a more gaming-oriented model, whereas on the last gaming-oriented one, we had a function key here with media keys up here and just a Windows key on this side. We've also got a full number pad. And honestly, in terms of the mechanical keyboard typing experience, the number pad to me is very important because in my particular job, I do a lot of typing on a number pad. I can actually touch type faster on a number pad than I can actually touch type in terms of written like words and stuff because I enter a lot of numbers into my computer and mechanical keys make everything faster. Everyone that I have put a mechanical keyboard in front of types faster and is more comfortable than they are on a membrane key switch because they do provide more responsiveness, more feedback, and just, they're, just, like, they're, they're better. They become depressed more easy, uh, undepressed more easily as well. So that's a good thing too. Uh, again, build quality. Huge rubber pads, quality rubber pads. These are incredibly non-slip. Four of them on the bottom. You can also flip up these guys right here and they have folding rubber pads that aren't going anywhere if you want to incline the keyboard a little bit. And what it comes down to with Philco, yes, they're expensive. Yes, they're a much better typing experience. And yes, you can get pretty much whatever you want in terms of the layout, the color scheme, the switches that you prefer. Try keyboards, find out what you prefer. Personally, I'm not an MX Red guy. It's just not my thing. However, that doesn't mean that I couldn't get this keyboard with different switches because Phil Cold rolls like that. So don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.